Okay, so today we're diving into this whole idea of ditching the daily grind to become like a yeah. globetrotting influencer. Like we've all seen those pictures, yeah. right? <laughs> and secretly thought, man, I wish that were me. It's definitely a fantasy a lot of us share. But what I find interesting about this particular guide is that it tries to position travel influencing not as some far off dream, but as a real achievable career path. Totally. And it makes sense they start with choosing the right destinations because mm -hmm. it's not just about going to pretty places. Mm -hmm. You want that sweet spot of affordability, yeah. right? But it also needs to be visually appealing for your content. Absolutely. And they actually highlight Lisbon, specifically the Alfama district, which I thought was a really good example. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's known for these super colorful wi winding streets. Yeah. Perfect for capturing those like charming kind of vintage -y shots you see trending around. Right totally, like that old world European vibe. Right. But even with the perfect backdrop, right. it's not like the money just magically appears. Mm -hmm. So how does this guide suggest we actually make money from all this? Well, one thing they stress is the importance of going beyond the surface level of travel blogging. It's not enough to just like post pretty pictures and write about your day. Yeah, you need people to actually follow you. Yeah. And more importantly, engage with your content. Exactly. And that's where finding your niche comes in. Are you passionate about sustainable travel? Are you a total foodie? Maybe you're all about those off the beaten path adventures. So it's about becoming the expert in a specific kind of travel. Exactly. When you have a clear focus, you can target a specific audience and that helps you stand out, especially in such a crowded online world. Which is key. But then there's the money question. Right. Because likes and shares don't pay the bills. That's where they get into different income streams. And affiliate marketing is a big one. Affiliate marketing. Yeah. Basically, you recommend products or services to your followers, like travel gear, accommodations, tour companies, things like that. But you use unique affiliate links. Gotcha. So every time someone makes a purchase through your link, you earn a commission. So you're connecting your followers with cool stuff they might actually want. And getting a little something for yourself in the process, I like well, it. Yeah, exactly. But the guide doesn't stop at just affiliate links, does it? No, not at all. They actually emphasize diversifying your income streams. Okay, Mark. So they talk about creating and selling your own digital products, like in-depth travel guides, photography presets, even online courses. Creating your own little travel empire. Exactly. That's awesome. But those probably take a while to create, right? They do require some upfront work, for sure. So what about something a little more immediate? Well, the guide also dives into sponsorships. Oh, yeah. Where brands pay you to feature their products or services in your content. Okay, I can see that working. Like showcasing a new travel backpack you love. Or yeah, something. exactly. Or even reviewing a hotel. But they stress that it's not just about taking any sponsorship offer that comes your way. It has to make sense for your brand. Precisely. It's about partnering with companies you actually believe in. Brands that align with your values. And your audience, right? Exactly. Because maintaining that trust with your followers is so important. For sure. But with all these different income streams, it seems like it would be easy to get overwhelmed. That's why the guide really emphasizes organization and planning. Oh, I can see that. They basically encourage aspiring influencers to treat their content creation like a business. Which it is. Exactly. So that means setting financial goals, tracking your expenses, and establishing a consistent workflow. Right, because passion is important, but you need structure to make it work long term. Absolutely. They even suggest exploring platforms like Patreon. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that. Where you can offer exclusive content or perks to your most dedicated followers for a monthly subscription. So you're essentially creating a deeper level of engagement and building a more sustainable income stream from your most loyal fans. Exactly. Very cool. Yeah. But this guy doesn't just stop at like building a successful income, does it? It goes even further. This guide actually talks about creating an infinite income plan while traveling. Now, that sounds interesting. It definitely caught my eye. Like, how is that even possible? Is that even a real thing? Well, they break down some pretty compelling strategies for building income streams that could potentially fund your travels indefinitely. Okay, now I'm really intrigued. And one of the key concepts they emphasize is generating passive income. Passive income. Meaning? Meaning you're earning money even when you're not actively working. Okay, that sounds like the dream. But how does that apply to like travel influencing specifically? They give a few examples. One is creating and selling online courses like we talked about earlier. Right. Once the course is created, it can generate income passively as people enroll and learn from it. Right. Even while you're off exploring new destinations. So the work is done. 
And it just keeps earning money in the background. Exactly. That's amazing. Another example they give is investing in rental properties back home. So while you're out seeing the world, your money is working for you back home. That's brilliant. But it sounds like even with the allure of passive income, this guide emphasizes that building a successful travel influencing career is about more than just the money, right? Absolutely. It's about having the right mindset. Exactly. They stress that to truly thrive in this field, you need to see yourself as an entrepreneur. Building a brand, not just a travel blog. Exactly. So it's about more than just posting pretty pictures online. Way more. You might need to launch your own website, maybe create your own line of merchandise, or even offer consulting services based on your expertise. It's about expanding your reach and well, diversifying your offerings within that travel niche. So you're not just an influencer, you're a multifaceted travel entrepreneur. Exactly. I like it. This guide really does throw open the doors to what's possible. It's inspiring. It really is. We've gone from budget hacks to building an infinite income, mm -hmm. all while exploring the world. So out of all of this, what was the biggest takeaway for you? It really is about taking that passion and turning it into something that can support you. And this guide isn't just about, you know, being a tourist. It's about turning that travel into like a real sustainable income stream. So what did you think about that aspect of it? Like, what were some of the key takeaways there for you? One thing that really stood out to me was the focus on moving beyond just like the surface level of travel blogging, because like we were talking about earlier, it's not enough to just post pretty pictures and write about your experiences. Right. You need to turn those followers into fans mm -hmm. and then ideally into paying customers or clients or whatever it is you're offering. Exactly. And that's where, like we were saying, finding your niche is so important. So how do you actually do that? Like, how do you go from casual scroller to diehard fan? Well, the guy talks about really honing in on what makes you unique within this travel space. Like, what are you truly passionate about? OK, so give me an example. OK, so let's say your thing is sustainable travel. You're all about eco-friendly accommodations and transportation and experiences. You could really focus your content on showcasing those things. Or maybe you're a total foodie. You live for exploring local cuisines and finding those hidden culinary gems. So you'd be like the go-to resource for finding amazing food experiences wherever you go. Exactly. Or maybe you're all about adventure, like really off the beaten path kind of stuff. So you're taking people on those adventures virtually through your content. Precisely. And by developing that clear focus, that's how you target a specific audience and stand out. It's about becoming the expert in your own little corner of the travel world. Exactly. But then how do you actually monetize that expertise? Right. Because let's face it, we can't pay rent in likes and shares. Exactly. So the guide dives into a bunch of different income streams. And one of the most common ones, of course, is affiliate marketing. Which makes sense. It's like you're already recommending travel stuff to your followers. Exactly. I want to get a little something for it. Perse so remind me again how it works. Basically, you partner with brands or companies that are relevant to your niche. Like, let's say you find an awesome travel backpack that you want to recommend to your followers. Okay. Instead of just linking to it normally, you use a special affiliate link. Which they give you. Right. And then every time someone clicks on that link and makes a purchase, you get a commission. So you're basically getting a cut of the sale for sending traffic their way. Exactly. That's actually really smart. It's a win-win. Your followers discover cool products or services, and you get a little financial reward for connecting them. I like it. But the guy doesn't just stop at affiliate marketing, right? No, they actually emphasize the importance of diversifying your income streams. Which is always a good idea. Right. Because you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. Exactly. So what are some of the ways this guide suggests we bring in that travel money? Yeah. So it's not just about affiliate marketing. They talk about creating and selling your own stuff, too. OK, like what? So like ebooks are really popular, especially detailed travel guides. Makes sense. You're already sharing a ton of travel tips anyway. Exactly. Or how about photography presets? So people can get that same look and feel as your pictures. Oh, yeah. I've seen those advertised. Those are cool. And then there's online courses, which can be a really good way to package up your knowledge. Right. Like how to travel hack flights or something. Exactly. So you're basically leveraging what you're already doing. And turning it into a sellable product. That's awesome. And the beauty is you create it once. And it can keep generating income over time. Right. Even while you're off on your next adventure. Precisely. I'm starting to see how this whole infinite income thing could work. It definitely requires a shift in mindset. For sure. But it's cool to see that it's even possible. Absolutely. So we've covered a lot of ground here. From budget travel hacks to building a brand 
What would you say is the most important thing for aspiring travel influencers to keep in mind? Hmm, that's a good question. I'd say it's about finding that balance between passion and planning. Okay, explain that a little more. So, obviously, you need to be passionate about travel. That's a given. But you also need to approach it with a sense of strategy and purpose. Right, like it's a business. Exactly. So don't be afraid to dream big, but also be realistic about the work involved. It takes dedication and consistency to build a successful brand. And it's not always going to be glamorous. Fortunately not. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that people don't see. So much editing, so much planning. But when you're truly passionate about something and you're willing to put in the effort, it's amazing what you can achieve. It really is. This guide has given us a lot to think about. And I think it's a great starting point for anyone who's ever dreamed of turning their love of travel into a career. Absolutely. So whether you're just starting out or you've already got some miles under your belt, remember that the most important thing is to just get out there and explore. Couldn't agree more. The world is full of amazing places yeah. and experiences just waiting to be discovered. And who knows, maybe we'll see you out there on the road someday. Exactly. Living the dream. All right, everyone, that's it for our deep dive today. Until next time, happy travels.